Hello guys, <laughs> how are you? Welcome back to Sir Bash Math Rules. Um, I am making this video because most of my students are having challenges in solving or writing the equation of the parabola given the properties that you can see in your screen here. We have axis is the x-axis and the parabola passing through the points 0, 1, and 4, 2. Uh, if you can see there, you have four different equations of a parabola. These equations are in standard form. The first form of the equation, guys, is the quantity x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k is when the parabola opens upward. And the difference between this equation and this equation is a negative sign here, and this is when the parabola opens downwards. This equation that you can see here, the third one, which is the quantity y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h, is when the parabola opens to the, to the right, sidewards. And the difference between this equation and this equation is the sign here, negative 4p, and that's when the parabola opens to the left. Now, for us to be able to understand the situation in this problem here, it would be best to graph, not to graph, but to plot the points and understand what do we mean to say uh, axis is the x-axis. First, we're going to graph um, first uh, the, the plot or the points 0, 1. So we have here. Let me graph it for you. 0, 1 is somewhere located here. Let's say that's 1. So this is the ordered pair 0, 1. And the ordered pair 4, 2. So let me make a scaling first. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is, let's say, for example, that's 2. So the ordered pair 4, 2 is located here. This one here. This means to say, guys, that the parabola would actually pass through these two points. So it could be like this. That's one example. That's one instance. It could also be like that. It could also be like something like that, right? It could also be like doing this. So there are possible options for us to be able to draw the parabola. But there's only one way to do it because of this first property that says axis is the axis uh, the x axis so let me erase the other curves here when we say axis or x axis or axis of the parabola that would actually mean to say the axis of symmetry if this is your parabola guys the axis of symmetry is a line that divides the parabola into two equal parts so this is what we call the axis of symmetry okay so i'm going to erase it that statement that says axis is the x-axis, that means to say that the x-axis of the Cartesian plane, which is this one here, is going to be the axis of symmetry, meaning to say this divides the parabola into two equal parts. So the reflection of this point 1, 0, or sorry, 0, 1, is actually the point 0, negative 1. And the, reflect, uh, the reflection of this point 4, 2 is actually the point 4, negative 2. And then we're just going to do like a little curve like this, something like that. Okay, so by just looking at the shape of the parabola, guys, we already know that we should be using this equation here, right? The problem is you need to have an a, uh, you need to have a k, an h, and also the p. We don't know the values. But when we draw the parabola here in our graph, we could actually do this. That, right? Or we can also do this. That. Or we can also do this. That. Those are the possible vertices, or the points that you can find here are the possible vertices for the parabola. And the ghansila. However, we need to choose one with these conditions that you can see on your screen. Let me just erase the, the illustration that I just draw, guys. Sige. We don't know what is our HK, and we don't know what is our P. But we're not like Lou here, guys. If we're going to pick any points here that would represent your vertex, point here, guys, which is going to be possible value of your vertex. These are all excess. Tama? 
And we also know nga, if, if we're going to write an ordered pair here, we can somehow do h0, right? Any value of h. We can also say h, another h sub 1, 0. And this is also another point, h sub 2, 0, right? So the idea is, whatever vertex you're going to pick for this particular situation, k is always equal to 0. So na natay clue. I'm gonna erase everything here. Kanang mga decoration ako. I'm gonna erase those. So na natay clue, guys. Our k is always equal to zero. That's one of our clues. Okay. So how to go about this? What's gonna be the next item? We already know that we are gonna be using this equation here. So let's start from here. The first point that we have is zero one, right? And we already know that k is always equal to 0. This is going to be the x value and the y value. I'm going to substitute these values into this equation here, guys. And then uh, simplify it. So let's start. Our y is 1. Our k is 0. Equals 4p. Uh, our x is 0 minus h. Right? This is just equal to 1. And this is negative 4ph. We're done for that. Let's use the second point. The second point is 4, 2, and then k is equal to 0, right? So let's substitute these values into the same equation here, and then simplify. What is our k? It's 2. What is our, I'm sorry, what is our y? It's 2. Our k is 0, and it's squared, equals 4p. What is our x here? It's 4. What is our h? We don't know. So we just copy it. And then let's simplify. This becomes 4 equals uh, 4p times 4 minus h. Agree? And then we can simplify this further by dividing both sides by 4. We have 4 here. So ang kaning left side becomes 1. Ang mahabilindri is p times a quantity 4 minus h. Agree? So we have two equations now, guys. Here, we have this one here, equation 1. And this is equation 2. We are going to utilize the concept of system of non or system of linear equations. Okay? So we are going to rewrite the equation in terms of whatever variable and then we're going to substitute it. So first, I'm going to solve uh, this equation here in terms of p. So, ang mahitabo ani, guys, I'm going to divide everything by 4 minus h. Ang mahitabo is p equals 1 minus 4 minus h. Sakto? Okay. Kanipo siya, guys, ay ako ni siyang i write in terms of p. Ang mahitabo ani is p equals 1 over negative 4h. Right? Now, I know that p is also uh, I know that p is also equal to this one here. So pwede na ko siya i-equate. 1 negative 4h equals kani. Kay p manggihapon daw siya. So 1 over 4 minus h. Okay? From here, I'm going to solve what is going to be our h by using uh, cross multiplication. So cross multiply. 4 minus h times 1, it is just 4 minus h. Negative 4h times 1 is just negative 4h. And then solve h from here. So 4 equals negative 4h plus h. 4 equals negative 3h. And then dividing both sides by 3. ta -da! Our h is negative 4 over 3. In other words, not at a vertex, guys, h, k, which is, in this problem, we have negative 4 thirds, and then k was 0. Right? So, ang ato na lang kulang, guys, is what's gonna be our p? So, our p, guys, is going to be solve either of this equation. Kani or kani. I am just gonna use this one, kay simpler manisha. Sagi, let's solve for p. p is equal to? 1 over negative 4h. And what is our h? Negative 4 over 3. So this becomes 1 over negative 4 times negative 4 over 3. Right? 
And what is negative times negative? That's going to be positive. So this becomes 1 over positive 16 over 3. And to simplify this one here, guys, you just have to copy the numerator of 1. Okay? Times the reciprocal of 16 over 3, which is 3 over 16. This follows that our P, guys, is positive 3 over 16. So, we form with this equation of the parabola. Let me just uh, put this in, in a box. Kaning H, kaning P. And our K was, you know, it's always equal to zero. So, let's form the equation of the parabola then. Y minus K squared equals 4PX minus H. What is our K? It's zero squared equals 4. What is our p? Our p is positive 3 over 16. So this becomes 3 over 16 times x minus what is our h? Our h is negative 4 over 3. So negative 4 over 3. There. Oh no, sorry. There's no square there. I'm sorry. There's no exponent so there. So let's continue. This is just equal to y squared equals, this becomes 3 fourths because you can cancel 4. And there's another 4 nga mahabilindera. And then what is left is x plus 4 over 3. This is now the equation of the parabola that we are actually looking for. Okay. Now to check if it's correct. So basically, the vertex is actually negative 4 over 3. What is negative 4 of uh, negative 4 over 3 um, in decimal approximately? Uh, that, I think that's negative 1.33. So if this is siguro if this is let's say this is 1 kana 1 na siguro na ang mga dool dire so inana ang yung forma. So this is the ordered pair negative 4, 3, 0 kana and then, para na atay accurate way of illustrating it, I'm going to use a, a graphing software para makita ninyo ang situation ani. So, let's do it in GeoGebra. So, let me plug in the function, or rather the equation, which is y squared equals 3, 4 times the quantity of x plus 4 over 3. y to the power of 2 equals... Um, 3 fourth, 3 divided by 4, and then quantity x plus, was it 4 over 3? 4 divided by 3. Ah, oh, no. I forgot the parentheses. There. And then plus... 4 over 3. There you go. Sakto ba? Um, no? Let's check. There. I think that's already correct. Okay. So that's correct. Look. Um, the point 1, 0 is actually here. And the second point was 4, 2 is actually here. So if you notice, the parabola passes through those two points, right? And that's actually uh, two of the properties that we have uh, earlier. And it says also that the x-axis, which is this one here, is the axis of symmetry. Meaning to say that is the line that divides the parabola into two equal parts. So the reflection of this point here, which is 4, 2, is a point 4, negative 2 which also the parabola passes through that point. The reflection of this point here, uh, 0, 1, is actually 0, negative 1. And the vertex is located here. And that's negative 1.330. All right. I hope it helps you out. And thank you so much for watching, guys. And do not forget to uh, follow my page, my Facebook page, Sir Bash Math Rules, and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, which is also Sir Bash Math Rules. See you next time. Take care.